Hi, I'm Juliana Meek, and this is my dad, Bill Meek, from Harmon Meek Gallery. We're going to talk about our one of our artists that we've represented since the 80s, um, Richard Siegelman. He's a well-loved artist and um, has become a close friend as, as well as um, a fantastic artist. Dad, do you want to talk a little about the history with Richard? Uh, Richard's uh, show this, this past March, with, which was interrupted by the uh, a realization that COVID was upon us, and uh, so uh, uh, it was uh, not the show that we hoped in terms of attendance. But nonetheless, we did sell works out of the exhibition. The um, uh, it was the first time in 60 years that he did not attend an opening at a gallery here in Naples, which is remarkable. Uh, uh, even though he is a New Yorker, uh, born in Coney Island, and uh, has a studio in New York City, but his home is in Woodstock, New York. He's been coming to Naples since the uh, 50s and uh, had his first show uh, here in Naples. And uh, he was uh, with a gallery next door to the Harmon Gallery on Third Street South, right around the corner from where we are now. Um, and. Uh, in 1964, when Foster Harmon opened the Harmon Gallery, um, next door to the Robinson Gallery, uh, Richard Siegelman would come in and see the exhibitions uh, that uh, Foster Harmon did when he was here during the winter. And uh, I, when I came into the gallery in 1972, I developed a friendship with him, and I'd go see his exhibitions next door. And uh, he and I both knew that our destinies were going to come together at some point. Uh, but the problem is, he's, you know, and this is a good problem to have, he's very loyal. And he would no sooner think of leaving uh, Rosemary Robinson as to uh, shoot himself in the head. Uh, so uh, uh, in, in the um, couple years that passed and after I bought the gallery in 1978 from Foster Harmon, um, the, um, uh, the gallery next door uh, eventually uh, diminished into uh, nothing and it became an, uh, purely a decorator shop and so I called Richard up and explained this to him and he said that uh, it was time to uh, break the strings and, and we arranged for a show that year and that was uh, 1982 and <clears throat> when he uh, got up the nerve to uh, tell Rosemary Robinson that he was leaving uh, she said what took you so long I expect you to leave four or five years ago <laughs> so uh, she uh, uh, she endorsed his uh, uh, his uh, transfer. She thought it was really great because all the people she had sold to uh, prior to us representing him, uh, it made her look really great that she discovered this artist. Uh, but uh, he was uh, he didn't have a show in uh, uh, or maybe one or two shows in New York City before that uh, the Graham Gallery, which is the oldest gallery in the country, I believe, or at least the oldest gallery in New York City. And through that uh, association, he, he found a very famous art collector who purchased some of his early charcoal drawings that uh, upon that collector's day, death, David Daniels, uh, they were uh, uh, given to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Uh, Richard's in a lot of museums. He's probably in 60 museum collections now, but the Metropolitan is the, is the gem that all artists want to be in. That, that's amazing that he's in that collection and two very strong uh, charcoal drawings, uh, which is kind of how he started. Then he moved into watercolor, eventually to oil, and then to uh, the pastel medium, and then finally to the monotype medium. And uh, you have a book on his monotypes uh, published uh, a couple years ago by the Artist Book Foundation, a not-for-profit book uh, uh, a publisher uh, in Massachusetts. And they did uh, a, uh, the uh, the black and white medium of, of, of monotypes, which is how he started off, but uh, he's now does, uh, uh, for the last 20 years, he's also been doing color monotypes as well. So we were uh, very pleased to have represented him since uh, 1982 and had a long run of, of exhibitions, and we were very sad that this was the, the only show that he'd never attended himself. But um, his paintings were here and they represented him perfectly.